Good morning, dear students. Today we're going to take our first poem, which is entitled Compressed Upon Westminster Bridge, written by William Wordsworth, September 3rd, 1802. Earth has not anything to show more fair than would he be of soul who could pass by. A sight so touching in its majesty, this city now doth like a garment wear. The beauty of the morning silent bare, ships, tower, domes, theatres, and temples lie, up unto the fields and to the sky, all bright and glittering in the smokeless air. Never did sun more beautifully steep, in his first splendour, valley, rock, or hill. Never so, I never felt a calm so deep. This river glitters at his own sweet will. Dear God, the very houses seem asleep, and all that mighty heart is lying still. Did you notice that this poem is oddly shaped, like a square maybe, and that it has 14 lines? So, it's a sonnet. What is the sonnet? A style of poetry that contains 14 lines and rhythmic qualities. So, as usual, you have to take a look at the background of the era or a background of the poem. Here we have the Industrial Revolution. The 18th and 19th centuries brought much advancement to Britain and America. It was during this time period that the British Agricultural Revolution took place, which was a period of significant agricultural development marked by new farming techniques and inventions that led to massive increase in food production. This agricultural growth created a ripple effect that spread throughout the countries. People were now able to leave the farms and move into cities because there was sufficient agricultural production to support life away from the farm. The conveniences of city life created a demand of other products such as clothing and non-essential items that improve the quality of life. New technologies were invented to meet the growing demand of these products, which led to the first industrial factories. Soon, people were moving into cities in greater numbers to find employment as factory workers. This ushered in the next great revolution known as the Industrial Revolution. In this lesson, you will take a look at how industrialization and mass production furthered progress and how they have impacted our environment. There are four primary impact points when it comes to industrial revolution. They are air, water, soil, and habitat. The biggest problem is air pollution caused by the smoke and emissions generated by burning fossil fuels. The United States EPA regulates more than 80 different toxins that can be found in industrial pollution. To our poem, Wordsworth's inspiration for the poem seems to come from the view he saw from Westminster Bridge in London on the morning of July 31st, 1802, although he didn't write the poem until September then the same year. The people of the city were still in bed and the factories had not yet polluted the air with smoke. He and his sister Dorothy were crossing the bridge in a couch, taking them to a boat for a trip across the English Channel to France. Here is a piece of writing from Dothe's diary. She said, We mounted the Dover couch at Charing Cross. It was a beautiful morning. The city, St. Paul's, with the river and a multitude of little boats, made a most beautiful sight. The houses were not overhung with their cloud of smoke, and they were spread out endlessly. Yet the sun shone so brightly, with such a pure light, 
that there was even something like a purity of nature's own grand spectacles.